in September 1942. More than a dozen unions, representing over a million non-operating railroad employees, demanded a wage increase of 20 cents an hour. The situation worsened when 350,000 operating workers called for a 30% raise in payment. At the time, the railroad could not have been more essential, a vital piece to a war effort that was demanding more and more of the American people. Fearing a crippling strike, President Franklin Roosevelt ordered an emergency board to settle the dispute. They went through several rounds of negotiations, but by the end of 1943, with a truce still elusive, the government preempted a strike and took control of the railroad to ensure uninterrupted service. But a few weeks later, on January 19, 1944, a deal was finally struck. The unions agreed to a compromise, which included wage increases, and the government relinquished its control of the rails, putting it back into the hands of private management.